Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Anne Uwawodo. Coming up on the program. Enugu State Government and experts brainstorm on disaster management. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board warns proprietors of innovative enterprise institutes over illegal university admissions. And Kwara State Government acquires 3,000 hectares of farmland for youth agriculture. Governor Ifani Ugwani of Enugu State has reassured residents of his administration's commitment towards a disaster-free state. Mr. Ugwani made this comment after meeting with members of the State Emergency Management Agency in Enugu, the state capital. In recent times, the need for disaster management has been on the front burner following increasing number of displaced persons due to insurgency, fire outbreaks and flooding. A number of Nigerians have become victims due to lack of preparedness and slow response to emergencies in the country, a narrative the Enugu state government is determined to change. Here in this hall, a gathering of relevant stakeholders in emergency management in the state develop a new emergency management framework to consolidate the state's preparedness in tackling such issues. The Executive Secretary of the Enugu State Emergency Management Agency sets the tone for the discussion. This meeting aims to highlight the impact of preparedness and response on the hazards and vulnerabilities that development foists on us in Enugu State, bringing to the fore the power of collaboration. The General Officer Commanding 82 Division of the Nigerian Army, Lieutenant General Adamu Abubakar, in his remarks, emphasizes the need for key players to synergize with other agencies for effective results. It is not for us to wait until when the thing has happened, then we'll be running up and down. Or it is when the thing has happened, we're now looking for fun, putting pressure on the political leaders. What plan have you made? If you don't make any arrangement right from the beginning, then don't expect any miracle. Other stakeholders, including the National Emergency Management Agency, brought to the table ways of possibly improving the situation. The challenge is enormous. We want to build disaster resilient communities in Enugu. We want a situation where a person that is going in the streets, you can call him and ask him questions about disaster challenges and he can respond positively. For Governor Ifanyu Gwaii, his administration is committed to improving emergency response factors. As the government consolidates efforts to ensure safety in the state, the citizens are expected to support the efforts of the government. Abena State, located in the Mid Belt region of Nigeria, is one of the regions that has been affected by flooding recently. As a result of this, the state government opened up two camps for internally displaced persons in Makurdi, the state capital, just to evacuate victims from low-lying areas and avoid further loss of lives and property. But now, the internally displaced persons are complaining of the diversion of relief materials brought for them outside the camp. I did not go to him. I went to the camp manager because he's a person overseeing everything here. We actually him under your instruction, by your instruction, to say whatever thing that is going to leave this place should be explained to the ID. Correct, correct. And we want to know whether you have given that permission. While we were talking to him, it was then that uh, the, this, the, uh, uh, the secretary came. Now we have with us from Abuja studio the Deputy Governor of Benue State, Mr. Benson Abono, to shed more light on this issue. Welcome to News Across Nigeria, Mr. Abono. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Very right, the much. impact of flooding by the Benue State Emergency uh, Management Agency, we know that three persons are dead, 40 people are injured, but we've seen diversion of relief materials meant for displaced persons across Nigeria. Why can't these materials actually get to the people? Why this diversion? Uh, there, is, uh, there, there is a cut in the line. I can't hear very well, but... Um, if, if, I, if what I heard from you was, uh, was that uh, you wanted to know if the 
if there was diversion of relief materials. Well, yeah. I, I want to tell you that, as a matter of fact, there has not been any diversion of relief materials, to the best of my knowledge. But, but there was a, a case that came up on Sunday. I was in the church when reports reached me that um, a bus load of relief items were being taken out of the, of the camp and um, the inmates decided to stop it because they had not heard from me as the chairman of the relief committee uh, as to whether or not it was with my approval that the, the items were being taken out. And I rushed from the church and came over there and found these items actually loaded and I was made to understand that it was the executive secretary of the um, emergency management agency of the state. I called him over and asked him and he admitted yes he was the one and I asked him where he was taking them to and he told me he was taking them to the other camp. And I, I wasn't happy with this because I had told him earlier on any item that was going to be taken to any camp from that particular camp had to be authorized by me. As a result, I asked that those items be returned to the store. That was exactly what happened. All right. Well, Mr. Bono, what is the government doing to ensure that this doesn't happen again, a recurrence where funds or materials are diverted to other places? No, no, no. Um, look, we, we, ha we had... We have two camps in the metropolis, and um, items have been brought in, particularly to this very uh, camp in the international market. And um, it is from there that they are now taken to the other camp, and even to the local government areas. So there was taking the items from there to the other camp. All that was wrong was that this man did not and we had made it abundantly clear in the past that any item that was going to be taken out of that particular camp must have my blessing. And the reason is simple. If, if we allowed things to happen anyhow without a coordinated approach, then there was going to be one problem or the other. For example, the inmates kicked against the, against the, the, the removal of the items because they believed they were being diverted. And I made it clear to the executive secretary that each time anything like that was going to happen, all the stakeholders should be present and proper briefing should take place first. He didn't do this. And that's why there was suspicion. Okay, Mr. Bono, uh, these victims have been in camp for a while now. They can't be there forever, we know. What plans are being made to help them get back to their feet and, of course, get back to their normal lives again? Yeah, um, the government is taking very good care of this. Um, as I talk to you, we are carrying out um, uh, tests on the structures that were either destroyed, partially destroyed, or that were affected. And uh, these this integrity tests are aimed at this, the, the, you know, finding out whether or not the structures are still uh, viable for human occupation. As soon as we finish this, we will have to um, take care of the victims. We will, government will have to take care of their needs in terms of um, either the repairs of their buildings or the items that they lost. Uh, for example, uh, some households lost almost everything that was in their, in, their, in, their, in their buildings. And government will have to take care of at least some of them, even, even if it is not all of them. And so once these integrity tests are completed and we have carried out all the necessary investigations surrounding their needs and what will make them to return to some level of uh, comfortable living, then we will begin to decamp them uh, face by face. You've answered my question because I was going to ask about the integrity test. So if the, that test is conducted and the buildings affected are, are not up to standards, it means you're providing something, a plan B for these victims.
All right, Mr. Bono, thank you. I want to thank the federal government for coming to our aid. The president was uh, uh, up to his responsibility. He went to the extent of sending the vice president to Makadi uh, shortly after the disaster happened. And we took him round. He saw everything for himself. The first lady of the nation also uh, sent uh, relief material. NEMA was uh, dispatched by the, by, the, by the president, and the director general of NEMA was with us all throughout. Thank you very much. only a few days ago. All right, and, so um, because of time, yeah. we're running out of time already, but thank you very much. We've heard all you said. The Deputy Governor of Benue State, Mr. Ben Singh Abono, there. When news across Nigeria return to be talking education and find out what JAMB is doing on certificates, stay with us.